Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the drum assembly in your dryer, be sure to unplug the power cord. Remove the lint filter and use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the two screws securing the main top to the filter housing. Now insert a putty knife under the main top to release the two spring clips. Lift the main top up and support it. Disconnect the door switch wire connector. Using a 5 16 inch socket or nut driver, unthread the screws securing the front panel. Now carefully lift up the front panel to fully detach it from the cabinet. Reach under the drum and unthread the belt from the pulley and motor shaft. You can use the belt to help lift out the drum. Prepare the new drum assembly for installation by snapping the glides into place on the rim of the drum. Slide the belt over the new drum with the groove side facing inward. Position the drum in the cabinet by aligning it on the rear rollers. Make sure the idler pulley is properly positioned. Then loop the belt on the pulley and motor shaft in a zigzag formation. Rotate the drum to help align the belt. Now reposition the front panel by first aligning the drum. Then hook the panel on the mounting clips and push down. Replace the screws to secure the panel. Reconnect the door switch wire connector. Lower the main top and snap it into place. Rethread the screws in the lint filter housing. Replace the lint filter. With the repair completed, plug the power cord back in and your dryer should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.